I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a plugin to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot using the Teams Toolkit extension in Visual Studio Code. All you need to create a plugin is a RESTful API that follows open API specifications. For this demo, I'm going to use a repairs API that my team has already built to create a plugin. It's a Node API we built using Express and GitHub code spaces. Because my team used OpenAPI to describe my API's shape, I can use Swagger to generate a test page that shows my API's endpoints and available operations. As you can see, my API has basic operations to create, update, delete, and search over repairs. I'll use Swagger UI to explore my API's operations and search for an example repair assigned to Pierce. My breakpoint is hit, and I can see the response contains information like the repair name, description, and assigned maintenance staff member. Using the Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio Code, we will build a plugin that leverages this repairs API my team has already built and run it in Copilot. Everything looks good, so I'll go back to the Teams Toolkit and begin building the plugin. To get started, I'm creating a new project. I select Create a New App. From the drop down below the New Project window, select Plugin for Copilot. I'm prompted to select an open API specification that describes my API. I already have one created, so I'll just reference that here. I can also select which operations from the open API I want my plugin to expose. I'll select the List Repairs and Create Repair Operations. Of course, I need a folder location and name for my project. And I'm ready to go. Teams Toolkit creates my new project and opens it in a new browser tab. Plugins contain two key parts a Teams manifest file, which describes plugin metadata, and declarative adaptive cards to define the user experience for interacting with my plugin. Now, here's something cool. Based on the open API specification we provided a few minutes ago, Teams Toolkit has already automatically generated a Teams manifest and created adaptive cards for the user experience. Of course, I can always do more to tailor the manifest and cards. So let's take a look at what we have, starting with the manifest file. Here in the manifest, you can see the metadata describing my plugin, such as the plugin name and publisher, and the API operations it supports. Plugins also support authentication. My API allows anonymous access, so I don't need to add anything to the manifest. Now, let's look at the adaptive cards, which describe the user experience for interacting with my plugin in Copilot. By modifying this adaptive card template, I can change the way users interact with my plugin. For example, I can add new visual elements like images and buttons. I'll modify the design of this card. You'll notice that as I make changes, they are reflected live in the adaptive card previewing surface. OK, I've made a few changes, and now I'm ready to test my plugin in Copilot. I'll select the Launch in Copilot debug configuration. This will launch Microsoft 365 Copilot in Teams and sideload my plugin to make it available for testing. Let's run a quick test. All I have to do is open Copilot in Teams and give it a prompt. The repair API defined in my plugin manifest is invoked, and an adaptive card is returned to me in Copilot as an adaptive card populated with data from my repair API. And that's it. We've created a working plugin for Copilot in just a few steps.